Hello there, thanks for uh, joining me for this video presentation. I wanna get right down to it and talk to you about something that is very important more than uh, any other video that I have, uh, I have done. Uh, I've entitled this, The Ubiquitous Blockchain. It is prophetic and here is what you need to know. A lot of times I, I get asked, by friends uh, online or offline uh, where I think Bitcoin is going to go with its prize or where I think this cryptocurrency is going to go or that one and what it all means and and uh, and what is a blockchain and what is this what is that and I've done videos on that and I'll continue to do more of them uh, it's one of the things that uh, you know I enjoy doing but I want to I want to go really really at the core of this and why I believe that blockchain technology is not only here to stay but will change our world and will do so in ways we could never have imagined and one step further I believe that it is prophetic and we're going to talk about that today and a whole lot more so uh, please uh, stay with me here now in the uh, in the book of Daniel uh, chapter 12 verse 4 it says that but thou O Daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased this is Daniel chapter 12 verse 4 uh, many of you know that I'm a Christian. Um, I, uh, I, I want to say that I welcome all of you uh, to this uh, presentation, uh, Christian and non-Christian. But, but the prophet Daniel within the Bible talks about knowledge increasing, and I believe that it has. So uh, we see that, that the book has been sealed, the book of knowledge, but but. I am convinced that God himself is allowing knowledge to, to now be, uh, to be developed in ways that, that never has existed. Well, or has it at one point in time. But from the point of Daniel, he said, let's seal it up. Because there was not some some knowledge but we'll talk about that on a different video but from the point of Daniel onward God says seal it up until the end times which I believe we're in and that's why this blockchain is uh, prophetic okay so that's Daniel that's what he says there now let me go uh, quickly, if I could, to Genesis chapter 11. I, I will bring this together. Story of the Tower of Babel, you probably heard it. So Nimrod is uh, leading the way to, uh, to build this great tower and to uh, the goal to reach, to reach the heavens, to reach God and to, uh, and to conquer. And this is what God says about it. This is from the King James Version Bible, uh, public domain. Uh, and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. The people is one. It's almost like they're connected connectivity. Okay, back to the verse. And they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Well, what did they imagine to do? They wanted to reach heaven, and they wanted to have an encounter they wanted to uh, to have a showdown. Now the rest of the story goes on, and and uh, some of you are familiar with this, but 
uh, God destroys. He destroys the, the Tower of Babel. Uh, he, he confounds their language and they're no longer able to communicate and uh, the mission uh, is uh, destroyed. Uh, but now let's 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 talk about what God said. He said that had they been permitted to continue, that nothing, nothing, nothing would have been impossible. That they would have achieved their goals. And then moving forward, because the Tower of Babel came first, uh, and as far as the chronological sequence of things within scripture. Then Daniel, you know, living in in uh, Babylon, is told by God to seal it up, okay? We're putting a lid on knowledge, and we're going to, to no longer allow it to be made uh, manifest in, in a uh, in a great level to a great level of capacity until the end of days so here we are now as i believe the end of days and we have uh an increase in knowledge and in, in, in its capacity it's tremendous but we now are looking at blockchain and and i refer to this as the ubiquitous blockchain meaning that it's everywhere uh, and it, it'll affect everything you see, some people doubt that cryptocurrencies will will make it. They say, "Well, I don't know." Um, I I know from from prophecy, from from the prophetic writings of Scripture, that this that this is where we're going, and uh, it's going to be this way until the end. This is what's going to help facilitate uh, to help facilitate the new society that we're moving into. Now there will come a point, there will come a jumping off point. And some of you understand that. Uh, and, and that's a personal decision. You know, once we get, once this this uh, once this society, which is so interconnected, uh, gets to the point of of uh, just invading your space, then you have to say, you know what? I don't think I want it anymore. But we are moving towards uh, smart cities. Uh, there are cities right now uh, that are smart cities or ubiquitous cities, uh, cities like Barcelona, Spain, uh, Singapore, uh, Copenhagen uh, in Denmark, Helsinki, Finland, London, uh, meaning, and, and they've just hit the tip of the iceberg, but meaning that they are so connected, that they are uh, so highly surveilled that everything is is made known and there's even a passage in the scriptures that talk about that uh, that there will come a time and I know it can have a dual application it's prophecy that there will come a time where everything that has been hidden will be revealed and we're we're seeing the beginnings of that but you will continue to see smart cities more of them uh, and you know, in these smart cities, you can walk here, go here, go there, and uh, everything that you're doing is under surveillance. And the the blockchain, the data that is that that will be that will be recorded on the blockchain is there forever, uh, and it will it will. It will take the place uh, and, and will replace, from my point of view, all of the all of the institutions that we once thought were 
solid and would last from now on. Hey, look what the internet did. I mean, if you stop and think about it, uh, who goes to the printing shop, to a print shop now uh, to get business cards? You order them online. Uh, uh, we, we've come to the point to where uh, so many things we can get, we get online. But the internet, hey, it's gone way far. Uh, Kevin Ashton, uh, who was known for uh, his work at Procter & Gamble and later MIT, uh, coined the phrase uh, IoT or Internet of Things where everything, everything, everything uh, will be connected uh, down to your toaster. <laughs> I mean, we're seeing this, already seeing this happen with, uh, with, with our televisions and our refrigerators and our cars, everything connected, connected. Uh, pretty soon you, you won't be able to walk down the sidewalk without uh, just being uh, surveilled by, uh, by uh, street lights and, and, and trees and, and plants. And you think I'm talking crazy, but this is where it's at. And this blockchain is going to um, is is going to be play a big role in this. Uh, I I referenced a book in a previous video by uh, by by Peter Russell, a uh, book that he uh, wrote in '82, uh, entitled "The Global Brain." And where it basically is talking about how uh, about how humanity will connect with uh, with this whole internet network, if you will, and uh, and will connect with with technology. Uh, it's uh, it's it's very uh, it's very overwhelming. But all of the institutions that we have come to to know and understand, all of the legal documents that we sign, uh, everything that we go about doing, I believe, is going to be replaced by this by this blockchain, this ledger that will uh, that will that will create a sense of accountability, and you'll no longer have need for. Uh, third-party organizations everything will be uh, accounted for and we will move into a uh, a sort of quote-unquote utopia are you gonna like it I don't know but look here's the point when it comes to uh, uh, Bitcoin or any of these other cryptocurrencies, and I'm not here to say that every cryptocurrency is going to make it. Don't get me wrong, but what I am saying is this: the blockchain's not going away. So, from my point of view, why would the digital currency, why would the digital currency of the blockchain go away? No, we're we're moving we're moving we're moving forward. This is only going to get bigger. It's it's a little scary to tell you the truth, uh, and and you know I, I'm just being honest. But every facet of your life, think about it now. Uh, think of just the old-fashioned internet now. The old-fashioned internet uh, runs things, uh, and and society can't function without it. That is going to pale in comparison to what. Uh, the blockchain is going to do and this whole interconnectivity uh, this uh, this ubiquitous uh, uh, society in which we are living in and will uh, and will eventually live in in a greater way uh, it's not going away everything will be surveilled everything will be recorded on the network and uh, that's the way it will be, whether you like it or not. And so that's, that's the bottom line. Um, uh, follow me at Breaking Tonight. Upvote, re-steam, that's all i got to say. My time's up. Catch you next time.